In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the shortcode UI plugin to insert shortcodes into your equity theme. Um, since equity version 1.3, uh, it includes uh, a little notice in your admin to install the shortcode UI plugin. So let's go ahead, we're going to go ahead and install that plugin and I'll show you how to use it because it makes it really simple to add the equity shortcodes to your po post and pages. So let's install that. Okay. Uh, now if you installed shortcode prior to March, you probably have the uh, older version that's on GitHub instead of the newer version that's in the WordPress repository. In that case, I would recommend deactivating it, deleting it, and then installing again so you get the newer version from WordPress. So we're going to install the shortcode UI plugin. Okay, now let's go back to the installer, and the installer will now have an option to activate it. We're going to activate it. Now that we've got that plugin activated, let's go to a post. And let's use this Hello World post. And we're going to start adding some of our short codes that come with equity. Put that in visual mode. Okay. Now to use the short code, show, short code UI, it's also called Shortcake, you click on the Add Media button. Just click on Add Media. And then you click on, in the left menu, Insert Post Element. And when you click on that, you'll see all the short codes that are available in Equity are right here for you to add. You can add the alert boxes, the buttons, a font awesome icon, an icon box, uh, even the short codes for the responsive video or a testimonial. So let's start with, say, the, the alert box. Let's click on alert box. And you'll see now, uh, let's type some text. This is an alert box added by shortcode UI, also known as shortcake. Okay, now we select what type do we want. You know, if you look in the theme documentation, you'll see you have five different types of um, icon boxes here. Let's select the uh, alert. Uh, we can select whether we want a, a rounded border, border, a radius border. And again, if you go to the short codes in the documentation, you'll see some of the, uh, the options here. Okay. And whether we want to allow a user to be able to close that alert box. Uh, so I'm going to check that as well. Uh, let's make this rounded. Okay. Now let's insert this element. And you'll see now, you can see it in the visual editor. This is the alert box added by the short code UI. Um, so now maybe we want to add something else. Let's try adding. Add media. Insert post element. Let's add a button. Um, Let's don't let's say okay is going to be the button text and now we select whether we want a tiny small or large I'm going to select large and then you put that URL for the link that you want that button to link to so let's find something here we want to link to let's try by and put that here whether we want it to open a new tab or not do we want it to expand to fill the entire content area um for this one, no. Um, <clears throat> color options. You have an option of the primary color that's used in your theme or the secondary color. Or if you're using custom colors, you can put in the hex code for the custom color. I'm going to leave this as the primary color, uh, but you can play around with those colors for what you want your button to be. Oh, there you go. There's our OK button. It's using the primary color. OK. Now we want to let's try something else. Let's go back to Add Media, Insert Post Element. Let's add a Font Awesome icon. Now we can um, get a Font Awesome class from the list of Font Awesome 
here in the short codes documentation. Let's go down. Scroll down to find awesome, and there's the link to look at all of them. So let's look at all of them. Let's find something that we want to insert. Find the font awesome class. Okay. You know, maybe we're doing a listing and we want to put in uh, a bed icon. Let's click on that. And there's our class, FA bed. So let's put that in our post. There we go. Now what size do we want it? Well, if we're doing a listing, we want it a little bit big. Let's try a 50 and see how that works. And then the color. <clears throat> you have to put in the hex color here. It's using the default, so I'm going to leave it as a default for now, but you can change it to a different hex color. If you're using custom colors, you can preview it here. See, there's our little bed. Insert the element. See, there we have our bed. Uh, now let's add some, uh, let's go down to the next row. Let's add something else. Add media, insert post element. Let's do an icon box. This is an icon box inserted by the short code UI shortcake. Okay, now what type do we want? Well, let's go back to the theme documentation. Uh, content short codes, icon boxes. Okay, now what type do we want? Let's go with a type 2 that has little circles. Let's do a type 2. And what's the heading? Um, Okay, let's just put my heading. Icon class. Now let's look at our documentation. What icon class do we want here? Uh, let's try the font awesome icon class for truck which is what's used here. So we're going to go back and we're going to put F-A truck. Okay. And then if you want to link it to something, you can put the link there, the URL, just like we did before. Okay, let's insert that element. There we go. There's uh, my heading with the text. And we selected the icon type to be the circle and the font awesome icon class F-A truck. There we go. Now let's do, do one other one. Let's go to Add Media. Insert Post Element. Let's do a responsive video. Let's put in a video embed code. Okay, let's go over to YouTube. I've got one of our videos on how to work with the Zopum Live Chat. So we're going to go ahead and get this embed code. Let's copy that. And let's paste it here. Okay, we pasted that. Now let's preview it. There's our video. Let's insert it. There we go. Might be a little big, but you get the idea. Okay, now let's go down to the next one. Let's add another. Let's add a testimonial. This is a testimonial. Added using the short code UI. Okay. First name, last name for the person giving the video, um, for the testimonial. Let's Jane Doe. Uh, 
do we have a URL to a photo? Um, we can get one. Let's see. Let's go to the media library and see if we've got something here we can use. Let's copy that URL and let's paste it there. Okay, let's preview it first. There we go. Insert it. Now we've got the image with the uh, testimonial. Okay, so if we go ahead and we update this post and let's view this post. You'll see now all of these items we added that use short codes and equity, we were able to add really easily with the short code UI plugin. The alert box, the button, um, the font awesome icon, the icon boxes, the responsive video, and the testimonials. So that's how you use the short code UI in equity.